so this is the build right here we got the modern grip telekinesis ring hasten ring ring of heck eight and nimble rod it's a hoodie shades of time it's the starter item for some cooldown reduction and stuff like that and these are my personal preference of relics and consumables so it's an interesting build it's different let's see if we can't get a game okay all right so we means to get into a game but unfortunately there was a lot of people wanting to play mage at three mages okay so I'm just gonna try and capture just some raw gameplay here just to sort of showcase the build Still very new at it and everything, and um, definitely didn't find this on my own. It's another YouTuber I saw that did it. It was pretty funny. He did it with Atlas. I'm pretty sure you can do this with anybody that does like magical damage. Just build him attack speeds. It's actually pretty good. It's crazy how good it is. I don't even know where the enemy team is. It's kind of confusing. Okay. So normally what I like to do is I like to upgrade my uh, 2 uh, to max. And then anytime I get the opportunity to upgrade my okay. ult, I upgrade that as well. Let me make sure I got my game champion so I'm not bothering these guys. Pretty sure they can hear me. That's fine. Getting kind of pressured over here in the left lane. Do this to somebody. Ah, Cuckoo got away. Got Fenrir right here. You should work for me. So even I really couldn't tell what just happened there. That was kind of like just fear. Um, of dying but it actually turned out pretty well I mean what can I say it's the build this will turn the tide of battle. I don't know why it works so well but I mean of course it does because mages do so much damage and then you can just give them some attack speed to go with it it's kind of just given He even has a a move that upgrades his attack speed and damage with his trident, so it's pretty it's pretty given, honestly. That Fenrir right here almost got my ult. Let's see if we can't get this right here. Just like that. Just like that. Generally, I don't try to be aggressive unless it's like given that you can be aggressive, but 
I would just recommend just sort of just waiting until you guys are all or waiting for like a team push and then like just doing your damage and hitting your moves and stuff. Such a sad right there. I mean, it's it's almost it's almost broken now that I'm realizing it. Like, it's definitely a fun build. That's for sure. There's a serious amount of damage to the tower as well. Hello, sugar. Got this juggernaut on left lane over here. Trying to see if we can't pick up another kill. Oh yeah, I got that meditation bologna. Okay, I see. I see. Oh, that scared me. I thought that was the enemy cuckoo for a second. I've got no mana. I've got no health. I've just gotta, just gotta leave that guy to his death. I can't. We can see if we can't just get a little pig. Nah, we can't. There's no, there's no way. Apologies. Just go back. It's 1400. I'm gonna go ahead and get one of my. I'm gonna go ahead and get both of my chalices real quick. I honestly prefer the chalices more because it's a quick 600. Saves more gold in the long run rather than buying potions, but I've definitely heard the other side of people's opinion on that. Yeah, you know, don't try and be too aggressive with it. You know, you're not invincible. It definitely does a lot of damage. It's a fun build to try out. Let's see, he's able to get away. Got a lot going on over there in right lane. I might go in and introduce myself. I might try and take this tower. Unfortunately, we couldn't save the Nike, but we did get the tower. An ally has been slain. I was wondering why it didn't do any damage. Yeah, so don't try and be too aggressive. Sort of get your damage. Do your thing. With Cuckoo there, it's kind of hard. 
But generally, I could probably kill that Odin by myself at this point. Still like so much damage and attack speed is crazy. Probably get Aegis. Like that cuckoo on the enemy team. I don't always get uh, Aegis as a secondary relic, but for my first relic, I always prefer to get Purification Beads because of all the moves that can stop you from moving and whatnot. Very dangerous to get caught up. Alright, got a lot of kills here. Looks like I'm gonna try and move in. up real quick yeah so as you see I can pretty much generally 1v1 Odin at this point with the attack speed build be right back out for him. So get your damage up. Yeah, I mean it pretty much deletes. It pretty much deletes. Try and get my health and mana up real quick. Old. I never saw him use it, so I'm gonna back up. Aphrodite over here. Alright. So, yeah, like I said, generally you don't need to be too aggressive with this build. You can sort of just sort of wait in the back and do your damage and stuff like that be relaxed be right back impressive So I really just gotta watch my back for them trying to gank me like that set did that one time. Which they're probably gonna try and do. Like right there. Yeah. Gotta watch out for these guys. I got my ult, so. Pretty much just delete them. Staying that the worse it is. I would have to say that the enemy cuckoo is definitely not shabby as a player for sure. Got my kill stolen there, but as you see the damage is there, the attack speed is there is pretty fun okay. build I'm not really sure as to what more I need to say other than the gameplay you're witnessing right now I'm gonna back though here soon I'm full man and HP I 
got my ult, so I can definitely set something up. Hopefully they set something up. Wait for somebody to dive or something. Or try and flank me. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what they got. Let's set over there. So I let my team do their thing. Ah oh, man. There. The enemy cuckoo's definitely gonna be a problem. Yeah, get deleted. Had to do it to him. Alright, who's next? An ally has been slain. It's pretty much broken. I don't even think the Odin knows what is happening right now. happening so yeah there's some 13 and 2 gameplay I'm level 28 in smite I'm still a very new player I'm a new youtuber you know if you enjoyed this video and build a tutorial that I have come across and now you have come across please by all means give it a try um, and give give my channel a try subscribe leave a like if you enjoyed um once again I'm gonna show the build again so it's demonic grip, telekinesis ring, hasten ring, ring of hecate, and nimble rod is a hootie with sands of time as the starting item. Build it in this exact order if you don't want to. Uh, because you start reading into the passes and whatnot and find a better order, then feel free. But I am passing this along to you my viewers my subscribers um it's fun build to do um let's pull up the stats so top damage top kills it's a pretty good build it's fun 